I want Kayvon Thibodeau, and again, 0-4, 2-5 in the bye week, but I want the best defensive end in this year's draft. That is Kayvon Thibodeau. Mark, do you want Kayvon Thibodeau? That's that's my top guy so far, uh, the kid out of Oregon. So um, he needs to he needs to get back on the field, though. He missed that Ohio State game, and they really needed him. But if they still Rogers won, though. They still beat Ohio State. Sucking, do you think his future is in jeopardy? Grid Iron Blitz. <laughs> Ooh, uh, his future is is cemented. Like he he can walk away right now, and in my opinion, not even blemish his legacy. So he's thirty eight years old, or will be. If he decides to go somewhere, I mean, Tom Brady's talking about playing to he's 50, so you never know. I mean, he's got a whole lot ahead of him. So I, Aaron Rodgers would be all right. I, I think he's – Mark said something earlier, and I think what if he's doing this on purpose? Like, oh, I'll just throw the worst pass you've ever seen me throw. And then he comes out and just rocks everybody for the next five, six weeks. Run the table. Relax. So I agree, Mark. Don't let this dude fool you, man, and rock you to sleep. We nope. got a great question from Go Line. It says, what wide receivers would you like to line up to start on? I says Sunday, but it's Monday. This is what I'd like to see for one, two, three, four. Well, one, two, whatever they do. The, the package. I want to see Quintess Cephas. I want to see Trinity Benson, Khalif Raymond, and Amon Ross St. Brown. That's what I want to see. I want to see these guys on the field. We've seen what Khalif Raymond can do. He can get separation. Yeah, he's a small guy. But he's catching the football and getting separation. Trinity Benson, we gave up two draft picks for this guy. Want to see him on the field. Quintess Cephas showed that he can get separation and make a play. And Amon Ross St. Brown is obviously our future. I want to see those guys in there. I don't think we're going to see Tyrell Williams is in concussion protocol. He's probably not going to play on Monday. So let's see these guys. Let's see. Again, if I miss your question, just repost it. I have a Stafford on my fantasy team. Well, that's smart for you. He is doing good in fantasy. Will Barnes play? Yeah, more he's throwing the wide open game? people. God, Doug. <laughs> I hope so. I don't think he is. I don't think he is. I think they're being stubborn with Derek Barnes here. I wish he would play the whole game, but but I don't think he is, Mark. Yeah, you know what? I don't know what's going on here with that man. There's no way that Alex Anzalone is a better linebacker. No. I don't th think he is. But uh, I just don't know what they're playing with right now, man. I know he was banged up a little bit during preseason, so maybe that's the case. They don't think he's he's had enough reps. Maybe they got one of those. They need so many reps in order for you to be on the field. But get the kid on the field, man. Let's go. Does Hawk go over 100 receptions yards there, Mr. Gridiron Blitz? Yeah. Yeah, uh, maybe 85. Well, he can get 100 easy because, like, how many times was he targeted? He had eight catches, something somewhere around there. So it was, a, yeah, eight catches, 97 yards. So I'm going to say yes. I give him two touchdowns. J. Cole, dang. Hashtag two, yeah. two TDs, man. Do you think the Lions should give Josh Gordon a call if he's allowed back in the league? I say no. No. I no. don't want to see Stop. Josh Gordon in here. <laughs> I say yes. Stop it. I say yes. I think they should. Yeah, talk, talk. Mark, why he there, won't Mark. make it pass. Go ahead. Well, that's why you just give him a bag of nickels, man. <laughs> <laughs> give him a bag of nickels and you tell him, hey, man, you make one false move, you're done. That's it. See ya. And he going to be why like, not? I'm out. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. 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 From a Patty G, hurt. if the Lions win at Green Bay, will Mark wear a golf jersey? <laughs> a golf jersey. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would definitely wear a golf jersey. I'm not. I'm not an anti Lions fan. My God, I want the Lions to win, people. I do. I really, really do. Folks, we're at 74 <laughs> likes, 25 away from that critical 100. If you've not smashed that like button, it's free to do so, and it helps to get the stream out there. As well as if you're on Twitter, you might as well follow me at micromike85. I have my DMs open, and I know a lot of people. For whatever reason, the notification bell doesn't turn on. So I post all my stuff on there anyways. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter, at MicroMike85. Yes or no, TJ Hawkinson will set a record for touchdowns by tight ends with 18. No. I say no. Mm. no. That's no, tough. That's, a lot. that's real tough. Yeah. That's, t that's tough. Do you think the Lions should – oh, I already <laughs> did that one. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Is yes. Mark 
playing the negative guy since Sour Tower is not here today. <laughs> <laughs> You're the heel today. You're the I heel, like Mark. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Big Wes. I'm sorry, bro. I, I, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just trying to be real, man. I just, mm-hmm. What do you want me to say? Okay, Lions are going to win by 50. Hey, that'd be cool, man. That would be really cool. You think Julian plays Monday? He best play Monday, man. I got yeah, to say this. I don't know. But we invested some draft pick in this guy. I want to see Julian play, Grid. Yeah, me too. I mean, when we drafted him last year, I wasn't the happiest guy. So, I mean, he's he's shown, you know, glimpses. So, I, I we need him to play. Absolutely. Yeah. Dixie Normus with the smile and laughing there. He's having a good time to, with his great name, Be Enormous. <laughs> um, uh, Madness Elisa smashed that like. Absolutely. Bad A Cup, Mark. It is. Will Jamal Williams go over 100 yards? This is a tough one because we don't know how much Swift's going to be used. Grid, does he go over 100 yards? Uh, not unless he breaks a long one because, like you said, uh, <laughs> because, like you said, uh, Mike, you've got the two backs and Swift put up 39 as well. So they're going to be splitting that that whole thing. So I'm going to say that that's a long shot. He would have to break one pretty far for that to happen. We got trucks <laughs> could get cheap. No, I'm not going to say that. You mean to uh, uh, hug a pot smoker? Some do with pot smoking. Poor Mark going to have an aneurysm. Yeah, I pay. Hey, Jimbo yeah, G with sure. a super chat. $10. Wow. Hey, man, we appreciate you, Jimbo G. You a G, man. You be rocking with everybody. He says Lions win 19-13. Low scoring game. Did y'all see my other two scores before this? I said 35-9. Leos rolling on the floor laughing. Raymond will get more involved in the offense. Jimbo G, appreciate that super chat. He's calling for a dub, man, in a low scoring game. Could it be a low scoring game there, Grid? Could we thinking that it's gonna be maybe higher? Do you think it could be a low scoring game like that? Absolutely not. These guys let 41 points. It's not like it's December in Lambeau. Shout out to Jim. I love I love Jim. But no, absolutely not. The, the, Green, if, if we get mad Aaron Rodgers, he could put up 50 the way this defense played last week. So I'm going to say <laughs> absolutely. Absol- and that's not the game that we want on Monday Night Football. This is going to be a high-scoring game. Uh, Packers walk away with the win. Mark Horn, do you think that this could be a lower scoring game? No, I don't think so. Just like what Grid said, man. Uh, you know, Green Bay got 30, 38 on them. We got 41 on us last week Ooh. against the, you know, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I think we're going to score on Green Bay, and I think they're going to score on us. It's just going to be one of those games back and forth. Are you guys looking forward to Corey Ballantyne's return ability, Mark Orham? Yeah, I think that's why they picked him up. I don't know what happened to anybody. Did Godwin get hurt? Or I know he's more of a he's more of a return guy. He he does have some speed to burn. So yeah, sure, why not? We got another super chat from Jimbo the G. Appreciate you, Jimbo. G says fifty <laughs> Lions. Holy cow! Green Bay forty two. Alex Anzalone takes be taken off games. He be forcing the camera looking. Guilty as hell. Like he cheated on his wife and he got caught in the act. <laughs> oh, Lord, Jimbo G. Oh, Woo, my like God. It. Jared Goff is 5-0 and on Monday Night Football, I think. Well, if that's the case, hopefully he's 6-0. and You know, I do have them, the Lions losing this game. But you want to know what? I want to see a victory. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice, Grid? He goes 6-0. and Absolutely. What would you do and, no. if he goes 6-0? and uh, six and oh, I, I would be happy, man, because a lot of people been been uh real hard on them this this you know past week for the <laughs> for the uh fifty seven passes, the short passes, and this and that, and so yeah, I, I would love to see that. I I try to comment because I know what you're thinking of, and it's trying to I'm trying to concentrate, but wouldn't that be nice? There, Mark Worm, if we if he goes six and zero, would that be saying something about Jared Goff? Just whatever it is on prime time. Oh, it'd be great, man! I think he needs to get that. You know, I don't want to say there's a monkey on his back, but uh, 
you know, oh, he, he is. he's getting dragged, he's getting dragged a little bit. He's getting dragged a little bit, um, you know, by, you know, like I've dragged him a, a few times. Like yeah. I will admit that. And uh, the media has, and uh, not the only one, but I just want to see him be aggressive. I just want to see him be a little more aggressive. That's all. And to go six and oh, that'd be great. It'd be great, man. Hope he does it. Let's hope he does. <laughs> yes. What do all great defenses have in common? They have a great inside linebacker. I say we star Barnes and let him explode. I'm with you. No, I'm a. Mm-hmm. They need to star Barnes, man. The faster they start Barnes, the better this defense will be. Not just now, but going forward. He is a playmaker. Yes, he's gonna get. He's gonna get roasted sometimes. That's what happens when you're a rookie. But guess what? His ceiling is high. Alex Anzalone is not high. He's not even the best coverage linebacker in high school. Okay? More or less the NFL. We need to see Derek Barnes in immediately. Do you agree with that there, Gridiron Blitz? Absolutely. I mean, it's, the dude came out and showed what he could do uh, during the preseason when we saw him. And he's elevated the team when he was out there, sideline to sideline. So, absolutely. Got to have that uh, straight line speed. So, yeah, no doubt, man. Got to have that workout warrior. Hashtag ISN, if you guys could redo a draft, which one and why? The Jeff All Rio of the Matt Patricia's. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I would be yeah. taking Justin Herbert. I am yep. going to live with this yeah. for a long time, man. I said when we did not draft this guy, this one's going to hurt us for a long time. And guess what? Mm-hmm. What happened? And mm-hmm. This dude's killing it, man. And so if I could redo that draft, that would be the draft I redo right then and there. We got a super chat as well from RV Hoppa. Says, Mike, I will be there Monday night with you. Awesome, man. I can't wait. It's going to be a fun time. See what's going to happen. Hopefully we have a little more success early on. I do like the fact that that Danimal is very aggressive. I love seeing that Mm -hmm. aggressiveness, even though we didn't convert on that fourth down. Man, oh, man, it was good to see. And so hopefully we see more of that. You're not going to win by, be, by, by being conservative. It's not going to happen. you got to be aggressive. you got to take, take our shots. We know the defense is not that good. So if you if you got a fourth and one, go for it. 